In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to define the two vectors a and b. a and b, a is a1, a2, a3, and b is b1, b2, b3. And I'm going to introduce you to a vector here, uh, which has elements a2, b3, take away a3, b2, a3, b1, take away a1, b3, and a1, b2, take away a2, b1. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that this vector is perpendicular to both a and b. OK, so in order to do that, I'm going to use the scalar product. And if we use the scalar product with a and this vector, we should get 0. And likewise, if I do b and this vector, we should get 0. So first of all, a1, a2, a3 dotted with a2, b3, take away a3, b2, a3, b1, take away a1, b3, and a1, b2, take away a2, b1. OK, so what we will get is a1 times each of these terms. So I'm going to expand the bracket, or, well, expand that out as well. So a1, a2, uh, b3, b3, take away a1, a3, b2. Then I'm going to, going to multiply a2 by each of these. So we'll get a2, so plus a2, uh, a3, b1. Take away a1, a2, b3. Then we'll have a3 times each of these, so plus a1, a3, b2. Take away a2, a3, b1. OK, so what we should have are some, calc uh, some cancellations. So a1, a2, b3, and take away a1, a2, b3, so they're gone. We've got a2, a3, b1, and take away a2, a3, b1, so they're gone. And we've got a1, a3, b2, and take away a1, a3, b2, so they're gone. And so that's equal to 0. So that's shown that these two vectors are perpendicular. So let's do the same thing now with b1, b2, b3, dotted with a2, b3, take away a3, b2, a3, b1, take away a1, b3, and a1, b2, take away a2, b1. So b1 times each of these, we will get a2, b1, b3. Take away a3, b1, b2. Then b2 times both of those. So plus a3, b1, b2. Take away a1, b2, b3. Then we've got uh, a1, b2, b3, take away a2, b1, b3. So a2, b1, b3, and take away a2, b1, b3, so they're gone. a3, b1, b2, take away a3, b1, b2, and a1, b2, b3, take away a1, b2, b3, so they're gone. OK, so what we've shown is that these two vectors are perpendicular to this vector here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to define this vector as the cross product, or the vector product, of A and B. So we're going to write that as A cross B. So we call it the vector product, but it's also in some circles referred to as the cross product because we use this symbol, this cross, as another way of multiplying A and B together. So this is an alternative way of multiplying two vectors together. You've got the scalar product, which results in a scalar, and you've got the vector product, which, was, which results in a vector. A2, B3, take away A3, B2, A3, B1, take away A1, B3, and A1, B2, take away A2, B1. And what we've shown is that A dotted with A2 
cross B is equal to 0, and B dotted with A cross B is equal to 0. Okay, A and B are both perpendicular vectors to the cross product. So the idea here is that if you've got A and B, two vectors, and you want to find a vector that is perpendicular to both of them, then here it is. Here is a vector that is perpendicular to both A and B.